Good morning. Um, we stopped short last night down by the river and uh, got a lot of condensation. But we also froze last night, so I should be hiking, but the tent it stands. Hopefully a little bit of moisture can be dried out of it here in the next few minutes before I pack it up. And then uh, we'll head up and over Benson Pass, and then another pass, then another little mountain. I'm going to try to do at least 20 today, see what happens. It's going to be a long day. We'll see you down there. Welcome to the top of uh, Benson Pass, where there are no mosquitoes. It's very exciting. Um, it's only 3.9 miles into our day. <coughs> the view is pretty good, but uh, it's kind of like the, the pass that we came up, the side that we came up faces east, the side we go down faces west. So we should have less snow on that side. But it's still kind of cool. I mean, we're still in Yosemite. Uh, so you saw this granite monolith all over the place. Um, but I'll give you a tour. So in like five miles or something like that, I have another pass, which I think is called CV Pass. It's shorter than this one, so it shouldn't be as much work. But <coughs> for now, let's go down. See you guys soon. Welcome to the top of Savoy Pass. Um, this one, you can't actually see mountains, um, but that's also what makes it unique, I guess. It's not as tall, but it's the second pass for the day. Um, I'm getting tired. We have one more to do, at least. Maybe two more. <coughs> Anyways, <coughs> excuse me. What it lacks in mountain views, it sure makes up for in water. Um, and it has these very large industrial sized mosquito incubators, and they're all over the place. So, on the scale of passes, it's not my favorite. The mosquitoes aren't too bad because it's been cold, and there's still some snow up here. But, uh,. Give this place about a week. Definitely, definitely would maybe, um, well, you probably have more mosquitoes than you would pine needles. Just put it that way. Um, take a snack break here, drink some water, head down, line up for the next one. See y'all soon. Sorry, I had just called this Savoy Pass. It's actually CV Pass. So we've done Benson and CV, and then the next pass doesn't have a name, but it's like 800 feet. Um, so the first one was like a 2,000 foot climb, this one was like 1,200, the next one's 800, and the one after that I think is 500. So they're getting smaller, which means they're easier, but I'm also running out of energy. So we'll see how we feel at the bottom of this one and get up over the next one, see what happens. Um, but yeah, see you down there. Welcome to the top of uh, pass number three for today. Uh, this one was only 800 feet tall. Um, Kind of running out of daylight, so I don't think I'm going to do the fourth one. And this one is unnamed, but it's not really a pass. It's more of like the shoulder of a mountain. Um, we just had to go down far enough that the mountain became... <coughs> Excuse me. Became less steep enough for us to actually have a trail. So, it's still pretty. We're going to go down. Crate apparently is fishing, so maybe we'll have some fish for tonight. And, uh, yeah, I haven't actually seen Mousetrap. Um, butterfly kisses or ginger tiger all day, so hopefully they'll make it before dark. And then otherwise, uh, we're like 30, 30 ish miles, no, 32 miles from uh, um, Kennedy Meadows North, where we can send the bear cam home, which automatically lightens my load by two pounds. Very exciting. Um, yeah, it's gonna be a fun couple days. I will see you at camp.
Boy, they hit quick, huh? That's what you call a pretty animal right there. That's cool. This is how we're cooking in the backcountry. Stuck of all the ways that's all to take. 